Hi, everybody. I forgot to disable the thing that has Miriam up here. She's not here today. Anyway, I'm Chris. I'm one of the co-founders and president and the technical guy behind Keto Chow. If you're brand new to Keto Chow, it's a nutritionally complete meal designed to make doing keto easy. We also have some electrolyte supplements that are amazing for everyday use and for keeping the dreaded keto flu away, even when your wife goes with a bunch of her friends to a wedding in Las Vegas. And yeah, <laughs> so be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the little bell icon so you can get updated every time we go live and that's all the fun stuff. So <laughs> let's see, Betsy is here, so is John. Um, Becca says, we don't get rain till late afternoon in the evening. Oh, that's interesting. I lived in an area that no matter what it looked like, how stormy it looked, unless it was the rainy season, it would not rain, period. That would be chilly. Uh, let's see, Carrie is here, so is Dennis. Um, Dennis says, I'm back, good morning, all here, especially Betsy. Rita's here, Glenda says, good morning, thank goodness it's Friday, happy Earth Day. I am super happy it's Friday. Um, Carrie is on day 84 of no coffee or caffeine. <laughs> and Becca says, Gary, did you see a serious keto gave up with his no caffeine trial? He couldn't deal with the brain fog. And I read brain frog. I'm like, why does he have a frog in his brain? Anyway, um, Audrey is here. So is Sherry. Uh, Denise says, orient parent. <laughs> why autocorrect? Why? <laughs> I had a friend who would... Like, his brother updated his mom's phone, changed her autocorrect, so that every time, I can't remember what it was, there was a common word that he said it so that, like, every time she wrote that, it would autocorrect it to diapers. Just to troll his mom. <laughs> anyway, Pam is here. Uh, let's see. Melinda says, hey, everyone, you're hustling this morning. J. Alex says, good morning, and happy Earth Day Challenge. Woohoo, we made it to Friday. Uh, Debbie says, good morning, everyone. Beautiful, glorious rain falling in Santa Clara, California this morning. We had a little bit of rain following, falling here in, in Utah as well. Yeah, <laughs> Gary says, good morning, Chris, and no, Miriam. Yep, Teresa says, fun. Yeah, because Miriam is, yeah, one of her friends is getting remarried, and so a bunch of her friends from high school, um, they all carpooled down to Las Vegas and got a cheap hotel and that's what they're doing. Miriam was thinking about bringing her snorkeling gear, but I don't know if she did or not. Um, also, Miriam doesn't really like Las Vegas very much. John says, hello, Chris in Utah Mountains. Mike is here. Darlene says, good morning, all. Esther says, good morning, Chris. Uh, let's see, Patty says, I got my creamy replacement yesterday. It was a full kit, so now I have 10 pint cups. That's, that's awesome. Maybe I should break mine. Mary J says, hi, everyone. Happy Friday. Jujubee is here. Uh, this is happy birthday. I'm about to plant some peas and radish. Too cold for anything else. My, one of my daughters is planting stuff in a flower garden today. She actually started it yesterday, but got sidetracked. Jonas says, rained on us uh, during my niece's lacrosse game last night. It was a great game, though. That's why they invented umbrellas. He says, hey, yo, where's the pretty one? She's in, she, she's in Nevada. So whatever. Betsy says, I think it's so cute that Chris never sits in the middle when Miriam isn't there. There's a reason for that. These chairs that we sit on, if I sit in the middle, I'm sitting on the, like a, a high point, and that's just no fun. I don't want to sit there. I'd rather sit on the comfortable part. Um, Carrie says, still trying to get my ankles to not look like a balloon. And I read bassoon, and I'm like, why do your ankles look like a, a, a musical ornament? Kathy's here. Swala says hi. Debbie says, put keto chat on my coffee. Love it. Virginia's here as well. John says, pre cruise shenanigans, 19 days. Full carb cruise in 22. <laughs> Jerry says, brain frog. Ribbit. Mimi's here. Let's see. Um, Key Life Granny says, we have lots of wind and impossible rain. But this is okay. We always have wind. We had crazy wind the last couple of days. Uh, which reminds me, I need to put up my windsock. I need to figure out where to put that, too. I got a windsock so that I can tell when it's safe to fly my drones. 
Mike says, I don't really like Las Vegas either. And she's on the, what is it? The, I think it's the east side of Las Vegas, up against the mountains, where that one big building is you know about, Mike. Brenda says, good morning from Omaha. I put in a vendor request for Omaha yesterday. <clears throat> so we're probably going to be going to that as vendors. I don't think we're going to go to the Orlando one because it's close enough to the Omaha one that I just don't think it's going to work out. Uh, Maddie says, just trying my first one right now. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, don't know what, what's this Omaha thing, what's this Orlando thing, if you go to lowcarbevents.com, um, there's a listing of a bunch of, so there's the Orlando one, there's the Omaha one. It's only 10 days later. And so a bunch of different things. And if you click next event, sometimes it loads the next. Nope, it didn't. So I'm going to come down again and hit it again. Now it loads the next page. Um, but there's a bunch of different low carb and keto events that are going on. And this is just a website to keep track of them. So lowcarbevents.com. Um, Melinda says, don't blame you, sit comfortably, right? Uh, Carrie says, I can find, I did find natural cream that had emu, emu oil and MSM. Wow, okay. Uh, let's see, Jason says, good morning. Thanks for posting videos from Keto Salt Lake. You are welcome, Jason. Jacqueline says, working on doing beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, but can't wait to let my keto chow, get my keto, keto uh, get my keto chow back. Dennis says, good to see Draper Temple along from Long Mountain Timpano. Hey, it is right there, right there. Um, let's see, Carrie says, Chris, is that tube or crew wind sock? It is a giant orange sock that has reflective stuff on it. There's no way you could wear it. Trey says, just, just lay down and stick your foot in the air. That's a wind sock. Kill Life Granny says, I had a warm chocolate toffee last night for dinner and it was 90 outside. Joel says, I uh, should put a stuffed animal or something in Miriam's chair. Right? Yeah, I should. Um, let's see. Keith says, getting even more excited about Lucar Cruise. We have a Packing Tips Part 2 video coming soon. Joe and Rachel last night, it was funny. They were talking about, yeah, we should totally make a video about packing tips for keto. <laughs> and he's like, hey, maybe someone's already done that. Just saying. And they're like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Miriam's here, says hello. Pam says, thanks for creating that website. It's nice to have all the events together. I put it there because it was just my attempt to try to get some sanity back because trying to keep track of all of them. Um, yeah. Mike says, I'm in the Northwest. I guessed where the wedding was. Rana says, Chris, got to love the monologues. That's right. Oh, Miriam just had a delicious omelet. I haven't had anything yet today. And, oh, hold on a second. I'll take my microphone with me. Do, do, do. You can hear me opening up the refrigerator. You can hear John talking about the office. Whoa, me falling over. Okay, I'm trying not to disturb these very much. Okay. This is chocolate peanut butter. You'll notice that there is some density separation. Here is grape. So I mix these up with um, butter and warm water because we had people who were reporting that they were getting separation Specifically, what we were trying to find out is, is there separation of the fat? Is the fat not mixing in like it's supposed to? And so you see pretty clearly, I mean, there is peanut flour down here at the bottom. Then you have a little bit denser stuff and then lighter stuff. And then up here at the top, you have kind of a foam. So I actually tested this out this morning to see if it was a permanent separation. Like, did we get globs of butter up at the top, which would be a big deal? Um, or is it just separating by density? Because I do get that same thing, the density separation with cocoa powder, with the chocolate mint, the chocolate peanut butter, and the chocolate if I use too warm of water. It's like if you use too warm of water, it kind of deactivates some of, it like deactivates the xanthan gum. The xanthan gum doesn't keep the stuff um, separated anymore. But, so in both of these, so here we have, again, it's separated by density. You then just shake it up before you consume it. And, yeah, it 
goes back to the way it's supposed to be. Um, you don't have any permanent separation of the fat in the top, which was what I was concerned about. So it's kind of like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Is it okay? You know, can, uh, are, is, was there something wrong in the mixing? We actually talked to the manufacturer and they went back and reviewed their logs. I think I talked about this yesterday. They have the weight of the ingredients before the batch is done. They have the weight of the ingredients that they took out to make the batch. And then they have the weight of the ingredients that was put back on the shelf. And between those three measurements, they're able to say, yeah, we put the right amount in. So, and according to them, they had all the measurements were correct. So it would have been uh, mixed up correctly. And yeah, it's, it's going to take a couple hours and then it will separate back. You like the transparent lid. It'll separate back again, but there isn't a, a permanent separation of the, of the fats, which is what we were concerned about. So I'm actually going to write up an FAQ today to answer that question of, hey, I mixed up keto chow with butter and warm water and I'm getting some separation. You know, what can be done? So we'll just talk about that. And, and again, it's not a big deal. Just shake it up again. Um, if you didn't use warm enough of water or you didn't run the blender long enough, you may have permanent separation, in which case you would just need to heat it up again and run it through a blender and it'll be fine. Okay, now that I am done with that, has anybody noticed I have a blue tongue yet? It's because I, 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 my soda stream has blue stuff in it. Sandra says... Good morning from North Carolina. I'm enjoying my keto chow ice cream meal. Question, I just received a cup, which I love your cups because they seal so tightly, but this cup with a lid, uh, on, but on this cup, the lid with uh, that seals everything won't stay sealed. Can I get a replacement? If so, how do I go about that, please? So um, easiest thing to do is reply to you your order um, and say, hey, I have a problem with my blender bottle and actually what they're going to do I'll just show you. Uh, oh, that was weird. Okay. Um, blender bottle warranty. What they will actually do is um, kick you over to this blender bottle page where you have to create an account with blender bottle. Sorry about that, but that's what you have to do. Um, and then they will um, have you send them some pictures and they will send you a replacement, like directly. Um, because, yeah, it's a lifetime guarantee. Now, what, one thing that I, so I had a bunch of them that were broken. I found that if they got cracked right along these lines because it got dropped, they wouldn't replace those. But if there was any problem with the lid, especially, it's a green screen, especially if there was separation here from, because it was made wrong or got over tightened, they, no problem, no questions asked. They would just be like, oh yeah, thanks for that photo of it. Here's the replacement. And they would send it right out immediately. So, but if you contact our customer service team, uh, they will give you that information as well. Uh, let's see. Jerry says the world is 70% water and uncarbonated, so it's technically flat. Uh, there's a lot of carbon in it. What are you talking about? Ah, uh, organic chemistry jokes. Betsy says, Miriam, you need to fix, you need your fix with us like we do with you, right? Um, let's see, people talking to Miriam, which is great. Jerry says, you mean peanut butter, not chocolate peanut butter. So this is the peanut butter, and I have had the same separation issues with chocolate peanut butter if I used water that was too warm, like straight up hot. Um, so it's happened on, to me on both of them. Denise says, can't get too many packing vids, uh, different ways, right? Uh, Carrie says, I always have a great shake when using coconut oil. Nice. Kristen says, I did notice my grape this morning has butter floating on the top, like an oil slick of butter. That's interesting because with mine, when I, uh, the test I did today, there was the stuff on top and it was more like a foam, but as soon as I shook it up, it's now mixed in and it tastes fine. Uh, let's see, Dorothy says, good morning, almost missed again. Well, I need to watch from the beginning. Mena says, uh, I mentioned making the grape and snickerdoodle on Monday, the buttered toast with jam vibes. Oh, that's a good, 
good combination. Mike says, mine density separates pretty much always, and I always just shake it up. Well, that's because you live in Vegas, which is weird. Um, let's see. Dennis says, thank you, Chris. I'm curious what could go wrong with the creamy bowls. I, I don't know. I've never actually had a problem with the creamies. Um, I do tend to put, um, if, I can re if I remember to do it, I put a little bit of Terra root gum, um, a quarter teaspoon, in each uh, creamy, and that prevents it from separating as well. Uh, Rihanna says, I freeze mine when they thaw in the fridge. They separate it a little. I shake it up and it goes back to normal. Lashana is here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Kathy says, I spent three unexpected days in the hospital. Oh, no. Looking forward to trying grape and peanut butter. Well, I hope you get okay. Dennis has got to love transparent lids. Now, if the, those are for sale. Yeah, well, you just have to have a green screen and a video system, and you could totally do it. Um, oh, and Shauna says, cool, I have a lid I need to replace. Yeah, and if, if you ever have problems with the blender bottles, yeah, keep the lids, keep the shakers, whatever like that, and contact blender, bo blender bottle, because they are genuine, well, you can't really see that, blender bottles. Um, they cost a lot more for us than, like there are other ones that you can get from China that are way cheaper. Um, but we really like blender bottle. Oh, they're, they're based out of Utah. Their main warehouse is about 20 minutes south of us. In fact, let's see, it's like just over that mountain. Uh, Mary Chase says the shaker cup from Kitch has brilliant, brilliantly designed. No water collection in the base and the dishwasher. I appreciate that little things in life. No wet feet emptying the load. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Esther says, my bottle came with a crack. Lynette took care, great care. Nice. Speaking of Lynette, there she is. Shauna says, organic chuckle for, orga obligatory chuckle for organic chemistry joke. Every time somebody says something about organic, I'm always like, well, it does have carbon in it. And they're just like, what are you talking about? John says, as I'm editing the Dr. Barry video, I'm learning about fasting. I'm assuming accidental fasting is, not, is just not eating. Is it bad to skip too many meals? I would say no. Um, a common thing that happens to people when they start ketogenic diets is they don't plan to fast or do intermittent fasting or skip breakfast. They just get so busy and they're like, eh, whatever. And that becomes a problem sometimes when we're doing trade shows. If we have people who don't do keto as part of our entourage, um, they'll be starving just they're they'll be like fit to be tied and the rest of us will be like yeah we're just going along we're just going along fine and i was like oh yeah i guess we should eat it sometime and then the the non-keto people are like yeah i've been saying that for hours it's like oh sorry um unintentional fasting is the best mary says my peanut butter and grape chow is waiting for me at the post office <clears throat> excuse me sky says just heard something that might be part of my issue warm water is subjective how warm is warm um, so the, I've found the best results, um, as far as mixing up keto chow with butter to be right around a hundred degrees, I'd say is about where you want it to be. Um, Danny says, good morning, everyone. Sanders says, I love going on keto chow Facebook page. So many ideas about how to mix things together to make new flavors. Uh, locally here, we have a coffee called Christmas Cookie. I used the room temp, room temp coffee, the, coffee this morning, along with some heavy cream and a drop of cake batter extract. Nice. Uh, let's see, people talking to John. Shannon says, thanks for always picking quantity or quality over quantity over price. Well, I get, it's so funny. I get so many unsolicited emails from Shaker bottle manufacturers that want us to use their stuff. And no, not going to do it. <laughs> Betsy says, I went to the food pantry yesterday. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got venison. Um, there was venison, ground beef, ground pork, chicken legs. That's amazing. That is so cool. Uh, Dennis says, Chris, ask Miriam how much trouble it would be to maintain a working list of Keto Chow products that mix well with sour cream. I have never mixed any flavors of Keto Chow with sour cream, so I don't know how it would work. 
it actually probably wouldn't. I don't think it w would not work at all. I think it would work just great. Um, but I'd actually have to try that. That I should. Maybe I'll try that this weekend. <clears throat> Sondra says, I have my first keto chow in the fridge ready to try out tonight. Nice. And usually, I just recommend, we, we talked about this yesterday, I usually recommend that you let them sit about 30 minutes just because the flavor really improves. If you can let it sit overnight, it gets even better. Um, but after the 30 minutes, it's kind of like there's this massive improvement and then it tapers off. Um, after three days, it's really good. Two Crazy Kids says, what's up, family? Um, let's see. Rick Wynn says, I throw my keto chow into my yogurt sometimes. I like the tang. Teresa says, I forgot to eat, but wish that that would help me lose the last 20 pounds. 22 pounds. There you go. Uh, let's see. People talking back and forth. John says, so if I'm skipping a meal a day, then it's okay. Yeah, that's called time-restricted feeding which is the proper term for it, but most people call it intermittent fasting. Um, there's a lot of information about that as well. Uh, in fact, I think, John, that we have several blog articles about intermittent fasting. Uh, Betsy says, last time they just brought my food out to me because of the virus. Oh, but this time I was able to go in to the food pantry. That's awesome. I'm glad that that exists to help you out. Like, super glad. Um, <laughs> Carrie says, how dear you get venison. That's pretty funny. Ace says, is there, is there a flavor combo for Snickers? Uh, that would be chocolate peanut butter and salted caramel is what we generally refer to as Snickers. Um, the chocolate peanut butter with chocolate toffee, I think, tastes like Butterfinger. Um, let's see. GGB says, sour cream and taco soup keto chow. That sounds fantastic. I actually did a quality test on taco soup yesterday, just with heavy cream. I might have that for breakfast. Hmm. I have a bunch of keto chows that I've had to mix up for quality control purposes, and there's way more of them than can possibly be eaten in the amount of time before they go bad in about six days from when they were mixed. So I might be just keto chow. For, well, it's, it's kind of the thing that I do when Miriam goes out of town is I just have keto chow. Um, he says, what would be the best flavor for, um, to us if you were going to mix with sour cream? I think that probably I'd start with chocolate and see how it goes. Dorothy says, I mix keto chow with yogurt and it's delicious. So with sour cream, it should be similar. And my, my understanding is sour cream is just cream that has had like citric acid added to it. Or usually they would make it with lemon. So I think that would work out just fine. Um, anyway, add a bit of sweetener and almond or coconut milk. Sometimes I add egg white protein powder for extra protein also. Uh, Esther says, yeah, it was really good when I left Keto Chow three days going to try longer. There you go. Betsy says, Chris, me too. Thanks for caring. <laughs> uh, yeah, there is a, well, uh, Lynette posted a blog post article, uh, Keto and Intermittent Fasting, a beginner's guide. Nice. John says, today I'm making peanut butter Keto Chow and s'mores. Denny says, sour cream should work. I have mixed mine with ricotta cheese sometimes. It makes like a mousse. Ooh, Nice. Uh, let's see, Two Crazy Keto says sour cream goes well with any of the savory keto chow flavors as well as raspberry cheesecake. Nice. John says almost ate our sour cream last, <laughs> last night. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see, I'm, I'm assuming you mistyped something. Carrie says chocolate peanut butter, chocolate, and pistachio are my favorite. Okay, well, have you guys had enough of me all by myself? I know I've had enough of me all by myself. Sheesh. Anyway, um, so yeah, tomorrow morning I'll be doing the live stream from my house. Miriam will be waking up late and driving back. She's in the Pacific time zone, so it's, it's only 8.30 where they're at right now. So anyway, um, I hope you all have a fantastic day, and yeah, catch you tomorrow.